To make it easier for you to see the movement of the fluid, I've used blue solution in this video. Of course, as recommended in the 5 moments of anti gene, you must perform anti gene prior to manipulating the IV set. To administer using piggyback, you need a secondary tubing and your mini bag of medication. Spike your bag upside down to prevent spill of medication. Enter the spike into the bag until it's well secured. Clamp your secondary tubing. Use chlorexidine and alcohol swabs to disinfect the highest port of the primary tubing. You need to friction for 15 seconds, then let it dry. Connect your secondary tubing to the Y port. Depending on the tubing you use, you may need to use a treaded lock. The treaded lock is a blue connector that can access the Y sites that are split septums. Once connected, place the secondary bag below the level of the primary bag. Unclamp the roller clamp slowly. Gravity will make the fluid go from the primary bag up the secondary tubing. Here you can see the fluid going up the tubing. When you back prime instead of priming with the medication bag, you avoid losing any dose of the medication and you enter a complete priming, with no air bubble. Once the tubing is primed, place your secondary bag on the IV pole and lower your primary bag using the hook provided in the secondary tubing package. Open fully the roller clamp of the secondary tubing and adjust the rate using the roller clamp of the primary tubing or program your pump.